So hi everyone. Today we will try to build out a small demo around how to build an e-commerce bot using OpenAI Swarm. So if you don't know, OpenAI Swarm is a new multi-agent orchestration framework that helps you to build multi-AI agent systems. So let's get started. So first of all, I assume you have seen my previous video on how to use Swarm using OpenAI API key as well as using local LLMs from Olama. So now everyone can use OpenAI Swarm using Olama as well. You can check out my previous video. So once you are able to use OpenAI Swarm, so first of all, in this e-commerce chatbot, we would be introducing a concept of triag agent, which is a central manager sort of an agent, which is able to divert the calls to different sub agents depending upon the prompt given by the user. So in this case, we have created two sub agents. One would be a refund agent, other would be a discount agent and the central agent would be triag agent, which will, which has been given the instructions determine which agent is best suited to handle the user request. One agent, the refund agent gives refund and discount agent gives discount. And these are the functions that are getting used. Process refund, give refund and apply discount. Discount apply, apply discount of 11%. So basically these are the functionalities that has been given to these agents. Process refund and apply discount, which these agents can use if required. If not required, they won't be used. So these are two functions that custom tools created. We have created a central agent, triag agent, refund and discount agent. So the refund and the discount agent will work under the triag agent. Just remember this. Now comes the important part in OpenAI Swarm that is the transfer, the hand of functionality that the team has provided. So there are three functions that we have created. One is transfer to refund. That means you need to now transfer the control to the refund agent, transfer to discount. You need to transfer the call to the discount agent and transfer back to triag. Call this function if a user is asking about a topic that is not handled by the current agent. So if there comes a topic which is not handled by any agent, it will go to the central manager that is the triag agent. So I think now you might have understood what a triag agent is. It is a manager sort of an agent which helps the control, shifting the control between the different sub agents. Once done, we would be adding these functionality to the triag agent, first of all, the last two ones, transfer to discount and transfer to refund would be added to the triag agent and transfer back to the triag agent would be added to discount agent and refund agent. So I think now if you can visualize if a prompt comes around refund or discount, the triag agent using the functionalities transfer to refund or transfer to discount can transfer it to the discount agent and the refund agent. But the discount and the refund agent can go back to the triag agent only. They can't transfer between themselves. The refund agent can't transfer it to the discount agent and vice versa. Be very clear with this. Now, these are some context variable that we are passing. So context variable can be taken as a, a, a global variables that the different agents can use if required. Now, this is a prompt that I'm sending it first up. Give me a refund. So now this should initiate the triag agent to transfer the control to the refund agent. So this is the response that we have got. Unfortunately, I don't have access to your account information or refund history. Please contact our dedicated refund agent team via toll free phone. Some hallucinated answer is coming, but it is appearing that the bot is chatting some from some e-commerce website. Now, how would you know the transfer was given? So if you see the entire response here, you will see that there was a function that was called transfer to refund because of our prompt from the triag agent. Sender was triag agent as you can see. And here you can see that the assistant was refund agent. And this was the content that came out. Now, if we run another prompt, give me a discount. These are simple prompts that I'm running just to explain, but you can build out more complex uh, applications also. So this is the answer we got. Since you are looking for a discount, I'm happy to help. According to our current policy, we offer you a 15% discount on our next purchase. Some text is coming out. Now again, this is just to demonstrate how e-commerce bots can be built out using OpenAI Swarm. The framework is the easiest to use, to be honest. After this exercise, I am feeling that it is very, very easy to use. 
here you can see that now the transfer has been the function call is transferred to discount by the triag agent here you can see which was transferred to refund in the last case and the assistant is discount agent so it is successfully able to get the essence of the prompt and able to transfer it to the right agent now you define your context you define your functionalities more appropriately so that you get a better response but this is how a basic e-commerce bot can be built out using OpenAI Swarm. You can have a central agent that is a triag agent which can uh, move between multiple sub-agents. One can be around refund, other can be around discounts, the third agent can be sales and what not. The framework looks very very easy to use and is now compatible with local LLMs using Olama as well. So do check out the model, do, do check out the framework and try it building new applications using it. Thank you so much. I hope this was useful.